Hi, welcome Nate here, and here's another 3CX tutorial on the 3CX phone. Both versions, one on the left is the smartphone, and the one on the right is the desktop version. Smartphone comes in Android and iPhone, and the desktop comes in Mac and Windows. Both of them work very similar. Uh, interfaces look a little different, but for the most part, they do function exactly the same. Uh, if you're not familiar with presence or uh, status, um, what that is is depending on what is currently set, whether it be available, away, do not disturb, available to or out of office, um, calls that ring into your extension can behave a certain way based on the settings um, and what it's actually set at. So for example, mine's set to available, and so if I look at the settings right here, uh, unanswer calls, no answer timeout will be for 20 seconds. If it's not answered within those 20 seconds, it's going to forward to my voicemail. Uh, internal calls, meaning calls from other extensions, other users within our organization, uh, it's going to it's going to perform the same way, same as all calls. If my if I'm on the phone or my phone is not registered, it's going to forward to my voicemail. Same with in internal calls. Uh, I can set this check mark here, and if a call rings into my cell phone, then I can. Uh, it will also ring my cell phone at the same time. I keep that unchecked. Uh, for example, if I set my to available to now, as you can see, I have it ring my cell phone. So that's just a convenience feature, and I can I can change this again from my cell phone by simply clicking right here and changing that to available to. And if you'll notice, it changed right here as well, and vice versa. Again, this is the desktop version, so it is system wide. Okay. Um, presence. Again, these are uh, other users within your groups or organizations where you can see their status. And you have these arrows off to the right where you can click and uh, you can leave a voicemail, conference, intercom, chat, call their extension. Um, let's look at another one here. And as you can see, I can also send them an email if it's populated in the back end of the system. Okay contacts this does link up with your mobile phone so you'll have use of all your contacts within 3cx uh, and your mobile contacts here's the dial pad and here's your call history here's all calls inbound calls outbound calls and missed calls and then here's a little more button where you can create and view conferences create and start chats or look at chat history and uh, voicemail here you can view voicemails and you could click it and uh, again perform different options from there as well if you click this um, if you click the folder you can re-record a greeting or you can change your greeting and your different statuses here available away do not disturb what have you so that was the 3cx uh, on the on the smartphone over here is the 3cx on the desktop client again very similar right so you have your arrows and you can select your different settings within your presence. You have your uh, phone book or um, yeah, contacts. And you can create a contact um, by clicking up here, add contact, start web meeting. Again, these are more functions as well. Okay, uh, here's your call history all calls receive calls outbound missed this is queues if you have call queues set up this will be you'll see a list of abandoned queues or abandoned calls so maybe if you're in a queue someone was in the queue and they end up hanging up you'd actually be able to see those uh, abandoned queue calls there um, voicemail again you can see the voicemail here or change your greeting this right here you can actually start uh, a 3cx web meeting via your chrome or firefox browser here you can create conferences you just kind of go through fill out the information add your um, party or your email address click add kind of go through this little wizard and it will actually send an email out to all the, the participants and that will give them the information to access the conference here's a dashboard um, where if someone was on a call you can see everyone here um, and if they were if you were on a call then you would see that information here and you have different views as well you 
just toggle through it. Close that. And here's, uh, if you have call recordings, you can view them here. You can delete them. Uh, here's some different audio options, video options based off of uh, your own bandwidth, uh, resolution. You can maximize or minimize your bandwidth, change your frames per second, change your uh, video devices. So basically just all your settings are within here. Feel free to play around with it. Hotkeys, you can perform hotkey functions. Uh, for example, if I was on Google and I searched an address, I'd be able to uh, highlight it and hit Control or Alt Control F11 and it will populate that right into my dial pad and I can call easily that phone number from the dial pad which is oh yeah which would be right here okay so that is the 3CX phone um, pretty very simple to use oh right here on the right here's your BLF key so if you had a desktop phone these would be coincide with your desktop phone and which I do another important thing uh, on the desktop on the desktop side of things that I overlooked right here this little phone you, there's actually two modes that the 3CX phone on the desktop uh, uh, performs in. One is a soft phone. The other is CTI mode. So if I change this to CTI mode, then that will actually um, connect with my with my desktop phone. And what I mean by that is, is if I were to dial a phone number here, it wouldn't necessarily go out on my computer soft phone here. It's going to go out on my desktop phone. So you could still use you know hands free with a mic or not with a mic but with a um, um, you don't need a mic or a handset because it's going to use your desktop phone so I can dial here and it's going to go out my phone um, if an incoming call ha happens it's going to pop up on here and I can still use my computer to operate my phone now if I put it in soft phone I'm 100% using the soft phone function on my computer so if I dial out from here and I'm on my soft phone version then it's going to use my soft phone 100%. So you'll need a mic and a headset and what have you. Okay, so that's the two um, desktop 3CX phones and the mobile phone um, in a nutshell. Uh, if you have any questions, please reach out. Uh, always available. Leave a comment. We'll definitely respond. Thank you.